I generated these magnificent artworks using AI and I'm gonna show you how we can turn them into NFTs. So if you wanna do the same, stick to the end of this video. I came across with these wonderful artworks on the internet and realized that people are making bank by turning them into NFTs and selling them on OpenSea or other NFT marketplaces. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can do the same in three easy steps and without any prior knowledge or coding. Also, I'm going to show you how we can mint and sell them on OpenSea. So let's go. Right, we made it. So first thing that you should do is to head to the link in the description. You will see a Google Collab Notebook. It is named VQGAN plus Clip. The original notebook is written by someone named Catherine Krauson and you can check her Twitter account and also her GitHub account. It's a really great net notebook and it does the job for us. So before we continue, I want to explain some of the concepts that this notebook or any other similar um, codes out there are doing and using. These notebooks are using convolutional neural networks. So you don't need to know all the detail about the ConvNet or CNN, they call it that way. It's basically a, an image recognition technique for processing pixel data. And also they are using neural style transfer. And that is a computer vision technique that allows us to recompose the content of an image in the style of another. If you ever wondered what an image would look like if it was drawn by another uh, famous artist, uh, you can do it with a style transfer. And also so many of the applications and filters out there on social media and all over the internet are using these techniques to process their images and videos. All right, if you want to continue reading about these, there are lots of resources out there. You can start with the uh, Wikipedia. You can just write convolutional neural networks or neural style for transfer and you can see the examples of it. So, all right, we talked about the technicalities. Now let's take a look at the code and see what we are gonna get from that. Okay, for our first step, we are back in the notebook. So Google Collab is used for running Python scripts that require more resources, for example, GPU or storage, and it can help the code to run really faster and more efficiently. Each of these blocks are called code blocks or code cells and for running them you just need to press shift and enter and we'll run it and go to the next block and if you wanted to stay at the same block you can press ctrl enter as you can see I'm mounting my Google Drive to my notebook and that's because I'm gonna use some of the files that I have in this notebook the next block is telling us which GPU we are going to use and give us some information about that. And after that, you are going to download some of the packages and libraries and this will take some time and you can go grab a coffee and come back. At this point, we need to choose our model that we are going to use. So as you can see, I'm choosing ImageNet and that's because it is trained based on the images on the internet and it's a really great model. After choosing that and running this block, it will download it for me and store it and I can use it in my next blocks. And uh, you can see that I need to download some of the libraries that are required for neural network and go to the next section. Now is the time for our second step and that is where the fun begins. So in this part, we are going to insert our settings for the run and I'm just going to explain some of the concepts and properties that we can put in the algorithm. One of them is text. You can write anything you want based on your imaginations. I wrote a trip to hell and back with the galactic highway by the style of Van Gogh. And if you write by the style of someone, it will transfer the style of that artist to our art and generate an image for us and that's really crazy so you can specify the height and width but it can't be more than 500 in this part after 50 intervals it will generate an image for us 
and you can see the results. You can specify the initial image. As I said before, this is using style transfer. And if you give this initial image to it, it will read the style of that image and generate an image for us based on that. And that's really fantastic. You can specify the objective image and it will generate an image based on that too. That the result would be something like the objective image. As you see, I ran the code before and it is running already. And if you go forward, you can see it just starts with a noisy uh, image and there is nothing in it. After some iterations, it starts to learn and uh, can generate some interesting images. It goes crazy with the arts right now. And after some more iterations, you can see it gives the art some concept and it transfers the style of Van Gogh's uh, art to our image as well and you can see the hell <laughs> people are going to hell and this is just I guess some <laughs> galactic vehicles or something like that and this is crazy nobody came up with this kind of art before and this is really crazy and you can see the devil's face at the at the background <laughs> this is really really great and you can turn them into nfts or get some ideas for your paintings these are just <laughs> turning for point for our generation i think and you can do a lot of jobs with this one after that you can create a video out of them and show the video and also download the video if you want you can enhance the quality of the images and download them with this collab notebook and also you can put the watermark on your art too so this is it for generating the image i'm just gonna download this in image that we have and use it to turn it to an nft in OpenSea, I'm just gonna show you how people are making money out of these images and this is really crazy. You can just put this in a loop and it will generate 10,000 random images for you and you can sell them on OpenSea, Solana Art or any NFT marketplaces that you know. And uh, let's go to the next section. Okay, before we continue, I'm just going to show you some of the most interesting artworks out there and people are made, turning them into NFTs and selling them on OpenSea or any other NFT marketplaces like Solana Art. And you can do the same uh, by this AI art generator. Uh, one of the successful ones was Eponym by Art AI. As you can see, they, ha they, uh, they have 10,000 items. 4.7k volume traded and they did the exact same thing by turning text to image and you can do the same you can see their art is just beautiful and wonderful and if you wanted to see how much money that would be you can just go to calculator and by considering the latest ethereum price you can see that they made more than 12 million dollars and this is their volume traded and not their uh, income but you can imagine how much money they made and this is not even the all-time high so if you wanted to consider all-time high of ethereum that would be 4800 and they would have traded this nft like two times more this amount that uh, we calculated and i think that's just crazy you can imagine how much they made and i guess they don't need to work anymore and there are so many artworks like this out there as this one or this one and you can just see they are making so much money and but they priced this one like 100 ethereums that's crazy i mean you can do the same by just this algorithm and putting it on a loop and just using it for your advantage all right now i'm gonna show you how we can turn these ai generated images into nfts 
For that, you just need to sign into your OpenSea account and it will need you to provide your MetaMask wallet or Coinbase wallet. These are just some wallets that you can store your NFT art in there. And I'm gonna use MetaMask. If you don't have the Chrome extension, you just need to go to Chrome extensions and download the MetaMask wallet. It will install the Chrome extension for you. And after that, it will come to this page. And if you press this button up here, it will uh, bring you to this page and it will need you uh, to uh, provide your recovery phrase or just create a new wallet. And I'm just gonna create a new wallet like this one. And yeah, so I have read the agreement, create. This is it. So after this part, you need to uh, click on next. This will show you the recovery phrase. You would, you will need to, this recovery phrase in the future. So keep it safe and give it to nobody, absolutely nobody. This just be, should be somewhere in your, I guess, home. Some just write it down somewhere and keep it uh, somewhere safe. And if you had something like this, you, you don't like, you don't want some, someone from internet to have it. And yeah, that's it. And you would, you will click on next and you, you will have your MetaMask wallet. After that, you come here, click on the MetaMask and I'm going to show you in a second after I put my recovery phrase and stuff. All right, now that you have your MetaMask wallet set up, you just need to click on the MetaMask and you will go to your account. You can see your artworks here, your collections, your favorites. And if you wanted to create a new item, you just need to click on the create button. It will ask you to sign some information. You just need to sign them and go. And here I'm just gonna upload my artwork and come back. All right, I uploaded my artwork and as you can see, I entered the name as I uh, entered the text in the uh, algorithm. And then you can provide the external link if you had any. We don't have any external links or URL, so we just leave it blank. Or if you wanted to, you can upload the art somewhere on a safe server and you just need to put the link here. And you can write some descriptions here about the artwork, like it's about uh, going to hell, fire, and uh, galactic highway, something like that, uh, or anything that you imagine about this uh, artwork yet that we created. And you can add it to a collection, or you can just set some properties, some levels, stats, and Yes, you can also, if you had a number of items, you, you can create some, uh, you can specify some supply for it. Uh, you can choose between Polygon blockchain and Ethereum. Ethereum basically needs a lot of gas. So the gas fee, I guess right now is something between 100 to 300. And the Polygon network, it says it's gas free, but you will require some uh, Ethereum and Polygon in your wallet. And then you just create create the uh, NFT and that's it. You have an, your NFT and it will create in some, uh, you, you should wait some time and it will be created and you can see uh, in your profile and also your wallet. And that's it. You have your first NFT. All right, as a bonus part, I'm gonna tell you about these two interesting websites that I found. One of them is named hotpot.ai and you can do the exact same thing here. Uh, you can turn your text into art by their AI. You write the text, choose the style and create and it will create for these interesting uh, artworks for you. The other one is named night cafe and you can do the same here too i uh, use this text 
Sci-Fi Judgment Day and Angels Flying to Hell by Michelangelo concept art and it generated me this uh, wonderful artwork and the other one is a God has no feelings and you can see that uh, it seems someone shows his middle finger to us <laughs> yeah and this is it all right you're at the end of this video so please smash the subscribe button and also like the video because i'll be posting about ai and how to make money from it and that can help the channel a lot and thank you for watching see you next time